earliest symptom is back pain. Where, when I say back, it's not only limited to the lower part of the back, the entire back from, 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 from behind the neck, behind the chest, to the lower back, which we call the back. So any of those regions can actually be affected. And the most important earliest symptom is back pain. This back pain is usually uh, worsened by trying to put a uh, load on the spine. For example, we load the spine when we sit, we load the spine when we walk, when we stand up, we load the spine, okay? And therefore, that usually worsens the pain. For cases of tumors, malignant tumors, or even infection, sometimes that pain is there even when you're not loading the back. For example, when you're sleeping at night, when you're turning in bed, it is painful. And that is called back pain that is not caused, that is not worsened by loading the spine, okay? Then if these symptoms are not given adequate attention, they go on to cause uh, involvement of now the neural material. Remember I talked about the spinal cord and the, and the nerve, and the nerves that come off the spinal cord as branches. So when we start in, in involving this, the neural material, which is basically the spinal cord and the nerve roots, then we start getting neuro, neuronal symptoms. And neuronal symptoms usually start with uh, funny sensations, heat, pains and needles, heat and cold, we call, that, we call that parasthesias. So you can feel funny abnormal sensations in a certain part of the body, like the thigh or the leg. You feel pins and needles there, you feel hot and warm there when, when you shouldn't feel. And then eventually you stop feeling that place completely. There's, you don't feel when someone touches, when, when a needle pricks you, you don't feel. And then eventually you start to lose power let me say in the leg or in the hand, you start to lose power. So the, the leg becomes weaker and weaker and eventually it becomes smaller. And if both, both sides are affected, then you lose the ability to stand up and walk, okay? And then depending on the region of the spine that has been affected, most of the people, most of the people present with uh, abnormal function of their bowel and bladder. By bowel, I mean long call becomes uncontrolled or you, you become unable to go for long haul, you get constipation.